would I stop? Hey, I'm Guy Branham, and this is Bar Talk at JFL. Who is your current comedy crush? Who do you, every time you see them, you're just like dazzled? Uh, I love Ike Barinholtz. Oh, yes. I love him. I love yes. his career. Like, uh, I did the CBS Diversity Showcase, and I took a lot of meetings after, and I went, they were like, who do you want to be? And I'm like, Ike. I want to be Ike. He has, he has a behind-the-camera like career and an in-front-of-the-camera yes. career. He's yes. a great writer. Yes. I mean, that's the dream. He's everything. Yes. He's everything. Who are your icons? If you were to make a Mount Rushmore of comedy, who would be on that? I think to start, I mean, there's so many people out there, but I would say to start, I would have Tracy Ullman. Yes. I mean, classic. Come on. Smart characters. Yes. And Kim Wayans. Oh. Uh, Amazing. She was uh, giving us everything. 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 And such a pioneer as a black sketch actor. So, yeah. I mean, really inspirational for me as a kid to watch her and be yeah. like, this, this is what I want to be. Um, is it hard being in a, like, there aren't a huge number of black women who have been able to be on sketch shows since shows like Mad TV and In Living Color went away. Right. Is it hard to be in an industry that doesn't necessarily always have a place for you? Um, it's changing. Uh, and I'm very inspired by a black lady sketch show. I yeah. just went to the panel uh, yes. today. And so I'm like, we're making, we're making steps moving forward. So I'm trying to focus on being positive about it. And honestly, I went to a great gatekeeper, like the, the New Faces Creators panel here. Yeah. And it's like, forget about the gatekeepers, make your own content. Like, yeah. And I want people to feel inspired to do that. Like, don't let anybody's no prevent you from actually moving forward with what your yes is. Yeah. Shukri. Yes. Are you willing to play a game with I us? I would love to play a game. I love games. Shukri, we are going to play Question Bucket. Okay. Here I have a container from a container store. Okay. I call it a bucket. Okay. It is Robin's Egg Blue. Inside, there are a bunch of random questions. You have to answer them from your gut, okay? Oh, okay. Are Personal you ready for that? questions? I mean, they're a mix of questions. Okay. Some will be deeply invasive and go to your very core. Uh-oh. Some of them will just be, what would your drag name be if you had a drag name? Okay. All right. What do you love most about the Just for Laughs Festival? Uh, meeting people and hearing what inspires them and then taking that home with me and then just duking it out and making it happen for myself. I don't like how emotionally healthy you feel. <laughs> you should be angrier. Who are you dying to meet at this festival? Uh, who am I dying to meet? That's a great question. I feel like uh, everybody's been so approachable. So it's like you see someone and you walk up to them. Uh, I talked to Anthony Anderson yesterday. Oh, that's I mean, very that was, exciting. I mean, that very cool. That's Blackish, very cool. Guys. Blackish. All right. What is the best piece of advice you ever received? Um, that's a great question. Ah, ah, best advice that I... Oh, I'm going to give a shout out to Dave Rath, my old boss. Uh -huh. And he's like, when I worked with him, he said, Shukri Hollywood is small and it only gets smaller from here on out. So it made me realize I need to act right. Yes. And I need to behave because it's like, you know, it's the whole whoever you're meeting on the way up is the people you're going to meet on the way down. Yes. So get your shit together. <laughs> I wasn't being bad when he said it either. I... All right. What did you want to be when you grew up? I think I wanted to be a clown like I am now. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh. This is uncomfortable how beautiful it is. All right. This one, deeply controversial. Oh. Cake or pie? I don't like sweets. Fuck you. Ugh. Fuck you and your say, adorable, thin little oh, frame. No. I don't need to hear this. A, a, a when, savory, a savory, like a savory you do pot indulge, pie. A savory pot pie? Yeah, like, a, not a chicken pot, I'm a vegetarian. So maybe like a, like a, a vegetarian pot pie. That sounds so whack. No, it doesn't. I'm whack, I'm it, realizing right now. It could be delicious. Are you vegan or are you vegetarian? I'm a, I'm a vegetarian who dabbles in the pescatarian world. Okay, I mean, if you allow me butter in the pastry, I can make you a beautiful, like root vegetable pot pie. We're gonna roast those oh. root, root vegetables. We're gonna highlight their sweetness. Yeah. Okay, gun to head though, cheesecake. All right, now the truth comes out. Me, I used to be a cake man, but I have slowly over time converted to pie. Final question, you will select yourself. We're running out of questions, Shukri. I know. Who is your celebrity crush? Oh, God, my, my, my hall pass list. Yes. It used to have like Larry David on it. It used to have Jason Bateman on it. Uh, Those are very different choices. Uh, <laughs> oh, I feel like I need to shut up now. Uh, you have a very handsome boyfriend who I, I met know, just moments he's, ago. Yes, he's very handsome. But if you were going to take a break from that, what would you do? 
What would you dabble in? Who would I stup? Look, I, I'll just stick with Jason Bateman. He, he seems like a whole wholesome, uh, nice guy, kind of average. Not be, be above it, I'm saying too much. But it's I, nice I, when they're like distinguished but moving towards 50. You yeah, know? Yes. It's a nice speed. That's it. That's Bar Talk at JFL. It's over now. You can return to the other parts of the internet. Go watch porn, go argue about politics, buy some cryptocurrency, whatever you want to do.